All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Balling With. Uh, thank you guys for joining in again on another video. We have the Denver Broncos. Uh, we're going to be looking at today on the over or under how many games they're going to win during this season. Uh, we have the Steelers hoodie on and just took the hood off. Got a little hot in the crib. Um, so let, without further ado, let's hop right on into the Denver Broncos, FanDuel, Sportsbook, eight and a half. Under. Video over. I ain't even got. It's like, nah, um, let's go right into it and dive a little deeper at why they're not going to win nine games this season. Then they won five last year. Um, don't really recall. So standings. Real quick, just to double check. Yeah, five games last year. Five and 12. Pretty crazy, right? We're going to go to this season right here. Uh, they start off week one versus the Oakland Rape. The Las Vegas Raiders, my bad. Um, nine games. I don't see them doing nine games, bro. Now, the Cowboys winning 10 games. I don't see them winning 10. So they got a lot of teams doing a lot of things. That's not going to happen. I'm telling you all that right now. Uh, they could win week one. They could not. Um, I don't think they are going to win week one either. Um, if they do... Good for them. Let's let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Let's let's say they win week one, one zero versus the Broncos. Now they playing the Commanders. Let's say let's say they. I don't even think they're gonna win this game. My team is Commanders. Uh, I think we're gonna blow them off. Uh, Russell Wilson is not really not a playmaker, and with Jerry Judy is actually hurt too. So I think he's uh Jerry Judy's probably out for a little bit too. Um, so uh, let's say one and one right now to start one and two versus the Dolphins. It's gonna be a close game. Uh, one and three. Honestly, I don't see them winning this, but they could win the game. Let's say they win the game two and three versus the Bears. I'm just gonna give them the benefit of the doubt on some of these games, and we'll, and we'll and we'll see what the record might be. But I do think they're gonna lose. But benefit of the doubt, two and three. I don't know one and one, one and two, two and two actually, two and two, two and three. Yes, two and three versus the Jets, two and four. Um. Benefit of the doubt, three and four, three and five, three and six, three and seven, three and eight. I don't got them beating the Browns, bro. Um, I give them the win right here. Um, four and eight. So they led off to a you know close. They're not. They got to win more games at the beginning than they do at the end. So and that's going to determine what they are. But they're four and eight right here, bro. One and one, one and two, one, one and oh, one and one, one and two, two and two, two and three, three and four, four and four, four and five, four and six, four and seven, four and eight. They're gonna be on like a four gun one streak. They have a pretty good solid like turnout a couple weeks, but once they get this point with the Jets, Chiefs, Packers, Chiefs again, Bills, Vikings, Browns. Uh Two, three, three, and four. Wait, one and one. I'm just running short because I'll be forgetting. I'm talking and trying to calculate and hold numbers in my mind at the same time while I try to come up with content in my head and say one and oh, one and one, one and two, two and two, benefited it out, two and three, three and four, four and four, right here. Four and five, four and six, four and seven, four and eight, four and eight with the Browns. Five for eight, five for nine, five for ten. They could win this here. Six and ten, six and eleven, and they win here again. Seven and eleven. Nine though, they're not winning nine games on this schedule, bro. Even if you did win. One, two, one. Let's say, let's say, let's give them the benefit of the doubt all the game, bro. On the, that we think they, the games that they, we know they, sh, uh, gonna lose, we're gonna give them L's. But the games that they could win, let's see. Let's say two and zero, not losing, then that winning this game. Two and one, three and one, three and two, three and three, four and three. Let's say they win one versus the Chiefs. Four and four. Two oh two one three one three two four two say five two 
I don't I don't know, man. Let's say let's say six and four. Seven and four. Eight and four. I don't see them being the Chargers or Lions. Nine and four. No. And they and they go that route, nine and four. Okay. But they're not they're not gonna win those games, bro. I'm telling you, they're not. It's the Broncos, bro. And they got Jerry Judy out. Russell Wilson is on the back end of his prime, bro. I have the Broncos going under eight and a half. I could have done this video under 30 seconds, bro. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, showing you some games that they 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 like they could win. Try to get to to that nine point, but I don't see it. I don't see it, bro. Guys, comment, like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know if the Broncos. Am I looking at this wrong, bro? I don't think I am. Broncos is not them. And I seen on Good Morning America they one guy picked the Denver Broncos to have a break or one of the uh I guess comeback team of the year for the AFC or who is gonna be the most improved in the AFC. That's what the question. Most improved in the AFC, some guy picked the Broncos because they went five and twelve last season. So from that five and twelve mark, you're gonna give seven and eleven or whatever the case may be. Um I don't see him winning more than eight games, nine games, definitely no. Eight games, I don't think so. Nine games, no. Seven, yes, I can see. Six, maybe. Five again, yes, but no. Not nine games for the Denver Broncos. Uh, guys, make sure you like and comment. Uh, subscribe again. Got more videos for the whole entire league. We're just dropping them down. Going into the Detroit Lions schedule next. Um, we got more videos, podcasts, news, highlights, sports bets. And uh, local videos of highlights for, for high school games and around the area. You're going to put high school kids on as well. Uh, guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We've got a lot of content to put out for you this upcoming fall. Um, catch you on the next one and sign up.